Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video and a very special video here on Sankam's YouTube channel. As you can see, out of nowhere I know, I am currently stood outside the famous Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Absolutely unbelievable. Now at this point in the video, unless you've obviously seen the, the title and the thumbnail, you won't know why we're here. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because tonight, thanks to you guys and your votes, I have reached the Football Content Awards final. I am in the best young content creator category. Fingers crossed we can maybe get in the top three. If not, it's okay. It's great to be here with so many great YouTube people. Uh, today, I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of a YouTube football final, an awards night final, and everything beforehand too. So let's go back to this morning when we're catching the train down to London. Lovely uh, start to the day. We're pegging it to Derby Station. Dad has got suit and hand, suitcase and hands. Dad can's looking drippy, I can't lie. But uh, I definitely think we've missed the train. Uh, so we might have to wait for the later one. But we're, we're trying. Yep, we've, uh, we've missed the train by literally one minute. Um, but the next one's in 20 minutes anyway, so it's not too bad. Um, and then yeah, we'll get our way to London. Give us time to get some of this anyway. in London and we are staying at one of my dad's close mate's house tonight but before that we're going straight to this networking event that they've got for the finalists uh, and that's at some kind of uh, it's like a sort of a YouTube workshop where you can learn stuff of people who have been really successful in the business so that would be interesting um, and then yeah it's actually quite weird because we're going back uh, on Friday and then Saturday we're back in London again the Queen's Park Rangers away where there'll be a, a vlog as always for the mighty potters, but fingers crossed, we can maybe finish in the top three tonight. That'd be a dream. I want to take this moment to uh, thank anyone that's got me here this afternoon, this evening, voting for me, supporting the channel, subscribing. Jamie wouldn't be here without you, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, and yeah, I'll get some clips of the, this networking event we're about to go to. Engage with the audience so that they speak to you and you can speak to them. I am Bradley and I am a content creator, a football based content creator and a hardcore Man City fan so... Uh, hi there, this is just a question for uh, Bradley. Uh, I know you have a really big following on TikTok um, and I have my own YouTube channel which has a decent following, I support Stoke, I don't know if anyone supports Stoke in here, probably not. Um, but. Um, yeah, I want to know because I'm trying to grow my following on TikTok because I know that if you can grow a following on TikTok, Instagram, it can then link to, you know, making more of a following on, uh, on YouTube as well. Um, so I'm just wondering an advice, any, uh, any sort of advice you'd give to me as a young creator uh, to sort of grow that following on TikTok. The way I started off was, was being controversial because the way, like, automatically you get eyes on you. People are going to hate automatically. So once you get that in, you're, you're automatically seeing views grow and then followers grow and then um, then you'll start building your actual audience and that's when you have to start drawing them in maybe make a, a, a series that you do for example I do one minute news so I do every week I wrap up what's happening in the football world and like that's what people know me it's like I have people come up off the street and they're like oh I'm using under one minute and I'm like yeah you know me. so <laughs> yeah just find like a, a little a, a niche and a series that you can do and people will start like drawing it back to you amazing thank, thank you, you. Okay, so we're halfway through the Meta Workshop event, and I'm joined with the one and only Thog Dad. Thank you for coming on the oh, channel, mate. Right. <laughs> I really Sorry, thought you were going to be hanging there. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> superb. I mean, uh, congratulations. You've set up a channel recently. How, how's it doing? Well, three years ago. Three now. years ago, three years yeah. Ago yeah, if you actually haven't seen the video, I interviewed Thog in at the Charlton EFL Awards a couple of years ago, and he said 50 likes. That's when I just started, and we'll get Thog in on the channel. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to go for 50 likes. We're 50 hit, likes. 50 hit. likes. We'll if that. we hit 50 likes, then you'll get Thog Dad on the channel next. Yes! Yeah. Lovely Thogden, yeah. thank you very much. There we go. 5,000 subscribers later, he's here. Um, it's a yeah. brilliant, it really is brilliant. So, two questions for you. The first one, um, what advice would you give to any sort of creative? 
because you and Thogden especially have grew a really big network now, really big following. What advice would you give to people that are starting or even people like me who yeah. haven't got the biggest following um, but you know just doing love tackling along, what would you say to them? Well first of all congratulations on what you've achieved so far. It's all about what I always tell people, it's all about getting out there and doing it. So you've done it for three years, you will have put hundreds of hours in, if not thousands of hours. And, and that is the main thing. I mean, it's 10 years almost to the day when Thogden set up the channel. And, and back in the day, it was FIFA channels. It wasn't actually live vlogs. He was doing, he was playing, you know, video games in his room. And as a dad, I'm thinking, well, what are you doing, you know? Um, but he just went out there and did it. He had this goal. He was inspired by some of the big YouTubers of the day, um, like Jack Mate and, and Seb on foot, you know, Seb on football and, and, and all of that. And of course, the Sidemen. And he just thought, yes, and he just thought, I want to do this. So instead of just talking about it, you know, in the playground and waffling, and he went and did it. And, and so over the last 10 years, he's, he's made over 2,000 videos. And it's all about, in life, it's all about the, the 10,000 hour theory. You know, if you do 10,000 hours of anything, you do 10,000 hours of piano, you're a concert pianist. 10,000 hours of tennis, you're a professional. Same with YouTube. Get out there, make video, make video. Some of it will be rubbish and it won't work. Some of it will be good, but you just, you just work hard. It's that, it's that work ethic thing. And constantly be watching other people, see what other people see are doing. Around, yeah, yeah, because there's, you know, you're not going to absolutely rip off 100%, but we're all inspired by others. Yeah. And Theo has been, a, you know, he's, he'll watch other stuff and think, you know what, I could do that maybe with a twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well talking about twists. Many people now try to shadow it with the father and son duo that you have, yeah. Thogden and Thog Dad. If you think about Thog Dad, you think about Thogden. If you think about Thogden, you often think about Thog Dad too. Yeah. Very original, something completely different, and it hit off. It skyrocketed for both of you. Yeah. What made you want to do that? Do you know what? It was totally random the way it works. So the, the first ever vlog that we did was Eastleigh against Bolton Wanderers. And Theo was probably 14 years old, and, and we took... Uh, we went down to Eastley, and Theo said to me on the way there, he said, Dad, your job is to drive me there, basically, you know, pay for me Coca-Cola and me pie. And whatever you do, stay off, stay off the camera. Oh, okay. Because his thinking was that, you know, a, a bloke in his 40s, you know, no, none of the kids want to see that. I'll tell you, they do now. Yeah, but then by chance, during that video, he, he put the camera, Theo's very much, you know, he whips the camera out, and he's like, right, dog dad. He put a camera in my face, and it was kind of sink or swim. I thought... I'm initially confused because he said stay off screen, but I think I was—I think I had a beer in my hand. I'm like, well, I'm time for a thought. Tastes like promotion. And yeah, well, that came later. But it was a case of, you know, you just have to think of something. Um, and then Theo kept that clip in of me probably reviewing a beer or, or my comment on the game. And people's comments on that video were like, we like your dad. Keep your dad. Yeah, we like Thog Dad. So it was very smart from Theo. It was a case of, if it hadn't worked, if people had put in the comments, keep your dad out, you know, this old bloke, we don't want to hear from him, then I wouldn't, then there wouldn't be a thug dad. So it comes back to see what works, and if it works, run with it. And, and yeah, but the, the random nature of it was, was, you know, was amazing. But the other thing that was, was mentioned here today in this conference, authenticity. So what you see uh, in, in our videos, is, you know, you see Theo and you see Thog Dad. What you see is what you get. It's not an act. This is just how. I promise you, it really isn't. Yeah. Genuinely sound guy. Man. Thank you very much, mate. You know that—that's who we are. Because I'm not an—I've never been on a stage, so I, I wouldn't know how to act to be somebody else. All I can be is myself. Is is a is a Northern footy fan who likes a beer. That's what you get. And if you know, and Theo, the way you see him, some people might think he's a little bit over the top, sort of bouncy. It's Thogden, though, isn't it? But it's Thogden. It's Thogden. He's different. You know, some people might say, "Well, you're not, you're not the cool kid." Well, so big. Who cares? He's got one million subscribers on YouTube. Two million. Two million. Sorry, two million. Sorry, Thogden. No, it's all right. But I mean, yeah. But find your own course. You know, you've got to do. You've got to be Sam. You know, you've got to be your own person. Um, uh, follow your own course, ignore the haters. In fact, embrace the haters. So, Thogden doesn't. Do you know what? So Theo play, and I played in a charity game on Sunday. Uh, Danny Aarons was there. And every time Danny Aarons and Theo got the ball, they were booed. And it, but but it, was, it was almost like um, a token of, look, these are probably the two creators with the biggest audiences. And it was almost like a compliment. And Theo embraced it. He set up a goal for Jeremy Ali Adier. And then Theo went over to the crowd and did that. And it, and afterwards, you know, afterwards, every single one of those kids booing got a selfie. 
Oh, there you go. So it, your haters, is, you know, this is hard to understand, but your haters, it's almost like you're are your biggest fans. Yeah. Because what they're doing is they're watching you, they're watching everything you do. So they're putting money in your pocket. So it's almost you've got to embrace the hate. You know, it, occasionally it gets nasty and you've got to block. But on the whole, it's like, it's like a theory at times, it's like a pantomime villain. You know, and the problem comes when people ignore you. Yeah, yeah. When people praise you or boo you, they're watching you. Yeah, yeah. When they ignore you, that's when your career's over. And I say, I love that. You said how yeah. they may hate and they may give him hate on social media or whatever, but they're paying his bills at the end of the day by watching his videos. So, I mean, hate is going to hate, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's YouTube, isn't it? You're always going to yeah. get hate. But th 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 honestly, mate, thank you for joining me. Yeah. Um, um, and good luck with everything you do. And for anyone who's going, good luck to you all, you know, whether you win or lose, it doesn't matter. Um, it's it's all about it's all about being in the game. An award, yeah, lovely if you win an award, but in some ways they don't really matter. Yeah, yeah. But those those do's are it's a brilliant opportunity to meet people, to 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 circulate, um, to get to know people, and you know collaborations might come out of that. Um, Amazing, mate. Thank you for yeah. tuning me. Thank Cheers, you. Sir. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we've just finished at the uh, the Meta Workshop event. It was actually really good. Learned a lot of stuff uh, to do with Instagram, TikTok, threads as well. Um, really, really useful. Met some good people, some good contacts for the future. So the Thog Dad, you've just seen the interview. Uh, and then also Curly, used to work on Sky Sports, now his own stuff. Uh, but yeah, really good event. Learned a lot. Uh, it's now time to go to my dad's mate's house, get changed, get ready for the evening. Um, I don't expect to win anything, to be honest, tonight, but it's just great to be there, meet some good people. Um, and yeah, I feel as much as I can, obviously I don't want to have my camera out the whole time because I want to enjoy the event as well and not be in people's faces and just chill. Um, but yeah, if I do get any event interviews, I'll put them in there. If not, then at least I've got Thog Dad for you. Um, and yeah, once again, thanks a lot to everyone who has voted to get me here. Thanks for everyone who subscribed, liked videos across the way, along the way, sorry. It's really appreciated. Uh, and yeah, let's go and get changed. Just like that, we are here at this stadium for the first time. It is absolutely unbelievable. Um, yeah, truly incredible. What a way to host an awards night. This is what YouTube has got to. Stadiums like this. Absolutely unbelievable. We've got to find the entrance. We're a bit late. Um, but I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Let's just hope for an award. Uh, and I'll show you the food, everything. Try and get some interviews, try and meet some people. Um, and yeah, let's have a good night. There you go. We're in the stadium. Boom. We just had some photos uh, with the one and the dad cam as well. Uh, what are your opinions on the Tottenham Stadium, mate? Pretty impressive. Got Pretty impressive. Yeah. Do you think uh, Stoke will be playing here anytime soon? Uh, probably not. Though. Yeah, probably not for another 10 years anyway. Uh, but yeah, really good event. Credit to the content awards. Let's have a look at it up here. Then there's so many levels to the stadium, it's actually untrue. Um, but here we go. And this is where the awards night is. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this stadium. That's inside the awards thing. Um, I'm just imagining over there, hold on, all the way over there in a couple of years. Narcy's polite. Tom Cannon, if he signs on a permanent. Scoring in front of there. Stoke away fans over there going mental. It's never going to happen, is it? But <laughs> Okay, now we're back to where we started today's video. You've just seen some clips of the stadium. Um, but yeah, absolutely unbelievable. In here uh, is where the Content Awards final actually is this year. Um, and we're about to go in there in a minute. I'll show you some people in there, hopefully get some interviews. If not, then you'll see the people who win the events. Maybe me, who knows? We don't know yet. Um, but yeah, let's get into the rest of the video. There you go, this is where we are. Isn't it giving like YouTube Ballon d'Or vibes? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a long walk for me if I am to win this, which I actually don't think I will. Uh, there's 14 people in my category, uh, there's 36,000 entries, so just to get down to the last 14 is unbelievable. Uh, but but yeah, who knows, man, who knows? Team 24. We're back. We are back. Last time I hosted this, it was in COVID and no one was here. The finalists are... Well done, everyone!
wish I was as focused as you when I was at your age, young people. I really do. Okay, so there is the end of today's video. Uh, I just wanted to point out a massive thank you once again. I know I've said it an absolute shed load in this video, but a massive thank you to absolutely everyone who likes the video, subscribes to the channel, even watches and comments on the video. It is all absolutely massively appreciated. You know, it really does help us content creators out. Unfortunately, this year I could not finish in the top three. Really disappointing with that as I was, uh, I was told that I was very, very close to finishing in the top three. Um, so yeah, I am pretty gutted at the moment, but these are the, the you know, it's the things, it's competition, um, and it is what it is. But anyone that did vote, it's a massive thank you to you because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to come to stadiums like this, all empty, on nights like tonight. Um, and yeah, it's a truly great experience, meeting uh, all these big YouTubers and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I got a photo with Mark White, the Dorking Wanderers manager, I'm sure you know him. If you don't know, get to know, absolutely hilarious. Uh, met Stump Peg, put that one here. Uh, and then also met Villaron Tor, who uh, actually won one of, the, one of the awards, and I sat right next to him, so really happy for him. Um, but yeah, one more time, have a look at this, because not many of you will have been able to see this stadium uh, in its presence like this, fully empty. Um, but yeah, there you go, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in full force. Uh, so yeah, as always, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Maybe we'll try again for this next year, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, that is all, Sam Camp. Peace out.